Hey fellas, me Trapper here. Today, I'm gonna to share with you what I've been using as a snaring bag. Now I've been uh, trapping for over 30 years now and I have tried a lot of different bags as snare bags and I've just never found one that I was happy with. Now this is a British Army military surplus gas mask bag. And so far this thing is working out great. It's not perfect, but it's pretty damn close. So let me show you what I carry in here, how I use it, and this may be of value to you on your line as well. So let's take a look. All right, let's take a look at this bag. First thing you'll notice, this bag has two pouches, one on each side, and these are Molly attached pouches. So that if you don't want these pouches, you can take them off, or if you would prefer to put your own pouches on the side, a little bit bigger pouches or different pouches, you're free to do that. These are nice size pouches in my opinion. Not too big, not too little. One, I carry a water bottle. I like water, it's a good thing to have. Now, this will not hold a two liter Nalgene bottle, but it will hold a regular size store-bought water bottle like that. Now, the pouch on the other side happens to be the perfect size for my tools. I carry a pair of American-made side cutter pliers. Get side cutter pliers, get good ones, like the flat jaw on them. These are channel locks. Don't scrimp on your tools. So I got a good pair of pliers. I use a pair of Swiss-made Felco uh, pruners. These right here are great. Sometimes I have to cut stakes. Sometimes I have to cut uh, snare supports or just get stuff out of the way. These Swiss-made Felcos are great, great snips. Finally, I carry a pair of cable cutters. When you make a catch and you go to get the uh, cable off the animal, you do not want to use your side cutter pliers to cut aircraft cable. Cable cutters make a nice clean cut and they're not damaged by cutting cable. So you use these to cut the wire, these to cut the cable. So it carries my tools perfectly in the side pouch. Let's take a look in the main compartment here. Let's open it up. You've got one pouch on the side, a pouch on the other side, and then your main compartment. Now, on this one, I have my beaver lure. Beaver lure is important if you're going to catch beavers. This is a three pound coil of 14 gauge wire. This is more wire than I need for the number of snares that I have in here, but I packed it just to show you that that side pouch is capable of carrying a full coil of wire. Normally, I would use one-fourth of this, if, if that, for the, for the dozen snares that I have. Just showing you what it's capable of. On this side pouch, I have my knife. This is my Muskrat Man drop point knife. This is the ultimate meat knife, in my opinion. This thing is made out of L6 steel. It's got the meat trapper handle on it. And this thing is just laser, laser sharp. This slices meat like no tomorrow. And you can see, <laughs> there's no telling how many critters this knife has skinned. Just a, I can't say enough about Muskrat Man Knives. You go to muskratmanknives.com, uh, reach out to uh, Cal, he's the guy there, and he will make you one of these. Just does super, super, super work. And the sheath that I had him make for me, I like a security flap on my sheath. It protects the uh, knife. Make sure that you don't accidentally lose the knife if you take a spill. And I had him put a little loop on the end so that you can carry this as a neck knife. And once again, with that security flap, you have no worries about that knife going anywhere. I love this package. Great package. Muskratmanknives.com Let's take a look in the main compartment here. This is where I carry my snares. And what I've got here is one dozen of my beaver snares that are fully outfitted, fully equipped, ready to go. In other words, these are not stripped down snares. It's my snare, the extension cable, earth anchor, and the swivels all built in. The whole package ready to go. Now, if you're interested in how I build these snares, how I set them up, or how I use them, 
you can check out my playlist called Snare School. Um, it's basically a university level education on snares and snaring. It's absolutely free. But I use these uh, Berkshire earth anchors. When I'm in um, soft ground, I can actually just cut a stick with my knife and use that as the driver to push this in or I can wire it to a tree, either one. So when I pick this up, I've got my snare, my extension cable, my earth anchor swivel, everything I need right here. I've got the wire, knife, tools, and lure. So this is a dozen snares right here, and that all fits into this bag, fits comfortably. Now, on the back of the bag, You've got two D-rings where the shoulder strap attaches. You've got more molly attachments back here if you need it. It has a little leg strap. I never use that. But this bag is extremely well made. It's very durable, very thick, holds its shape well, and I really, really, really like this bag. Now, I mentioned that this bag is not perfect. There are two things that I would add. Number one, I like a bag with a grab handle. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to attach one on the D-rings here because I like having a grab handle in addition to the shoulder strap. That's a pretty easy fix. The thing that I would really, really like that's a little more involved, it has these zippers on the front that just sort of allow the bag to expand a little bit, makes it easier to get stuff in and out of. I would absolutely love it if this front panel folded completely flat, uh, basically suitcase style. I would love to be able to put this bag down on the ground like this, open the top, undo the zippers, and lay this flat, and just basically have everything laid out in front of me. That would be awesome. I may end up buying another one and doing some experimentation with the sewing machine and seeing what I can do in that regard. But this bag is British Military Surplus. You can see some uh, jackass had to write his name on it, but We'll forgive him. He was dumb enough to join the British Army. Well, enough said. But anyway, these things run about 30 bucks. You can get them at military surplus dealers. And I give it four stars. The only reason I don't give it five is the lack of a grab handle and the fact that the front doesn't completely lay flat. But I think you would love this bag. I certainly do. And uh, just very well built, very durable does the job. Hope that was useful. Thanks for watching. We'll see y'all next time.